In two previous videos, I talked about Steam compatibility tools developed by friend of the channel, Patrick Obara. Well, here comes his most ambitious project yet. It's no shock to many of my subscribers that I'm a fan of source ports and engine recreations. I've waffled on like a man demented in the past about them. I love them, and I'm not the only one. Turns out Patrick, alias Dreamer, feels the same way I do, because he has developed the oddly titled Lux Torpeda, with that express purpose in mind. Apologies in advance if I'm pronouncing that horribly wrong. He named it after a Polish band or a real car from the same country or something that was popular in the 1930s. As demonstrated by my setup videos for the likes of Monkey Island, Wolf 3D and Doom, it might not take a lot of computing knowledge beyond following a few instructions, but it does take a bit of time and elbow grease to get things working nicely, so that you can just launch them straight from Steam. Dreamer said, nuts to that! I'm going to use my knowledge of compatibility tool development and apply it to making source ports and engine recreations easily accessible to the great unwashed masses. Okay, so we probably didn't word it exactly that way, I'm paraphrasing a bit there, but from that idea Lux Torpedo was born. His previous tools Boxtron and Roberta made things easy, but could he really extend that design philosophy to something as finickety as this? Well, despite it being considered pre-release software, there are little to no issues reported, and there's a huge list of packages on the GitHub that it claims to support, with D10's fan providing a substantial contribution in order to make the compatibility tool better by broadening its scope. Well, I have a Linux distro with Steam ready to lock and load, and a load of games bought there over the years that are on this list, so let's try a few. After setting the compatibility on Descent, Lux Torpedo went and installed DXX Rebirth flawlessly. Pretty convincing stuff. The exact same thing happens with VK Quake. It's not all entirely seamless though, with Jedi Academy needing a text edit to the OpenJK source port in order to display the correct resolution. That's not the fault of the Lux Torpedo team though. There were a number of titles that just didn't work for me for whatever reason, and Shadow Warrior didn't want to install. Unreal Gold also required a lot of finagling to get working, but these cases were proving to be the exception rather than the rule. The longest journey through residual VM just resulted in a black screen, and I've no idea why. Tomb Raider in widescreen HD though? No problem. Unreal Tournament? Easy peasy. And that's the way it went for most of what I tested. It was suspiciously simple and thanks to the native Linux packages for many and uncapped frame rates, a large chunk of these titles perform even better than the emulation that was foisted upon them by companies upon their digital release. So between the big push from Valve to improve Proton, enhanced DOSBox support in the form of staging in Boxtron, native ScumVM support with Roberta, and now additional source ports being integrated using Lux Torpeda, a large chunk of your library on Linux, if you're an individual of taste and decency, can be enhanced and improved with a click of a few buttons. Something you can't do on Windows, making Linux as a whole more viable for fans of retro Steam gaming than the latest Microsoft soft OS. Sure, with Lux Torpedo your results may vary, and these scripts are the creation of a handful of people at most, but that's where the feedback for the project is so important. If you're having issues with the project then go and tell them. Make your voice heard, just like I did. It's the best way to improve a project if it's done in a constructive fashion, without any frustration or vitriol aimed at the people creating this in their free time. Overall I was impressed with the project even if it felt a little more hit and hope than Roberta and Boxtron. The scope of what it was attempting to do was much greater, so I can forgive the odd thing not working my end when compared to the hours I've spent modding in the past. With the increasing amount of engine recreations and the improved support for Steam via compatibility tools, it's a brave new world for retro gaming and many of these old classics are classics for a reason, often surpassing any modern titles that you'd find on the platform. Now, thanks to the efforts of the community and Dreamer and Co in particular, the pain has been taken out of modding many of these titles to become the very best they could be, so that Steam users, young and old alike, can see just how good the games of the past not only were, but still are.